Hi, welcome to the garden at Clasheen. Are you like me and capture rainwater that you harvest from a roof and you store it in an IBC tank? Are you tired of how the water gushes out with the tap at the bottom, the tap that comes with the tank? And are you interested in learning about a way that you can attach a, a proper tap onto your tank in a very simple way and then you can use the hose pipe in the garden. My name is Nicola Brown. I'm a textile artist developing a sustainable practice at Clasheen in rural South East Ireland. During this video, short video, I share with you how I attached my tap, how I attach my hose pipe onto the tap and then you can see how effective it is at watering the garden. The first thing I need to do is open the packaging and see exactly what is inside. So this is it as it arrived. So what's actually in the package once you take everything out? There's a black plastic cap that's threaded with a washer inside. This is the piece that's going to actually go directly onto the outlet of your IBC. There's a tap with a red handle. This is the lever that you would twist to close off the water or to allow the water to come out the tap and it's got a white bit on this end here. Now that white end is the one that goes into this um, fitting so it's important not to remove this white stuff. Don't be tempted to peel that off. That's something that plumbers use to make a very good seal and to prevent water leaking from here once the tap is fitted. And the final thing in your little kit is this fitting here and this is what some people might choose to use to attach their hose pipe. This would go on the end of the, the tap with the hose here and this section here unscrews. You can replace this section here with this plastic but for now what we're most interested in is the tap itself or faucet I believe some people may call it and the black fitting. I'm going to post a link in the video description below letting you know where I actually got my tap from. I did quite a bit of research online before I identified the tap that was most suited to my needs. I wanted a metal one rather than a plastic one and the link is in the video description below. So I just want to show you how this actually works prior to the new tap going on. The first thing you need to do is screw on that black fitting and this makes <laughs> the water come out a smaller opening and then it's as simple as screwing the tap on. Now one of the things about IBC tanks is that the lever, this blue tap that's already on it, they can start to wear and actually it then becomes an issue because the tank, the tap might actually stay, um, stay on the whole time and obviously then you're going to lose your water. So I have not tried this out yet. This is just going as it is. So at the moment, this red tap is closed. So I'm going to switch the blue one on. Whoops, in fact, the red tap is open. <laughs> Live video, perfect. And the red tap is closed. No drip. This is still on. This one is closed. I'm just going to demonstrate again. Perfect. 
So the next thing I want to do now is I want to attach a hose pipe to this. So I'm going, just going to go and get the hose with the end of it and I'm going to attach that now. So far, so good. So the kit that I actually bought, the tap kit, which I will link to in the description below, that kit came with this little attachment here. And this attachment should clip onto the hose that I actually have. So in order to fit this, I need to remove this metal one. And I'm just going to put that aside and make sure that I keep it all carefully, just in case there's any issue and I need to put that one back on. But I screw this little plastic attachment that, as I say, came with the kit. I screw that there. And I attach my hose to it. And let's turn the tap on and make sure it's not dripping here. I do also have um, the attachment, the green attachment that came with this specific hose, but all going well, this silver attachment that came with the tap should do the trick. No leakage. I'm absolutely thrilled. So I'm just going to go down, turn the, <laughs> turn the trigger on at the other end and just show you the water coming out. So I can leave this on, I can leave this on. And I have a gun, or not a gun, but an attachment at the end of the hose that I will, will then turn on. So the water, um, this can be left safely on. However, because I'm very mindful of conserving water, I will actually turn these taps off between use as well. It's not necessary to, but I don't want any drips anywhere, so I will. So I'm now ready to demonstrate how the water actually is coming out of the hose pipe. Now it's important to note the IBC tank needs to be higher than where I want to water because there's no pressure coming from a traditional watering system. So it's important that the area that I want to, to water is lower than the tank and the pressure is not going to be as great coming out of this as it would be if you attached it to your regular um, tap with mains water or like me, a well supply. However, this will not be an issue for the garden, for me. Oh, as you can see, water is coming out. It may not come out at such a fast flow either. But that is going to be perfect for having at the base of my plants. I, I don't water many plants in my print and dye borders, but the Liguillaria is actually in a position where it would enjoy more shade and more water. So that's something that I'm going to be able to water morning and night before the sun gets up too much. I've actually already done it today, but I just wanted to demonstrate <laughs> and see how effective attaching the tap was. So I'm thrilled. If you've enjoyed this video and are interested in tips, advice and updates from my textile studio, dye borders, and my developing plots of trees at Clashine, please hit the subscribe button. I also have a new Patreon for those who would like to support me on my journey. And I teach a series of online workshops in felting and eco printing. The link is in the video description below. Thank you and see you in the next video.